get right to the point. A phone with two screens is rad. So here's how we're gonna make it a little radder. Rad, radder, rad, 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 more rad. Gestures are better than menus. This little, this little pill icon, that's fiddly. And then your home screen's getting all cluttered up. Don't use it. You wanna turn the second screen off sometime? Boom, double tap it. You wanna turn it back on again? Ha ha! LG invented this kind of screen tap stuff. Oh, oh, you want to move some apps back and forth? Hit them with that three finger action. Now that's what I'm saying. You just swipe them over just like that. Fire up another app, good to go. Oh, the little tip tappy menu. Save that for when you got fine point control. You need to grab that dual display screenshot. Second screen has its own pull down shade. That's where it lives, son. Oh, excuse me. You need it even faster than that. Typing out that message, this little button right here. Gonna rip that screenshot fast. Come on, son. What are you doing? Don't open the case to answer a call. That's for normies. Be looking like some Karen just trying to answer a phone call. Nah, 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 bro. You use that assistant button to answer the call. Hang it up like a boss. Don't embarrass yourself. And check those dual display settings. You want the cover to have an always on clock? Do it. And if you use one app all the time, just tell the phone to auto launch it. Why are you wasting that time? And you want to go wide you want to go wide you want to go wide of course you do the same app that worked on the g8x is gonna work a trick here when you want to spread things out it's not an official app that shouldn't bother you it'll get the job done but play with two versions of an app you could go dual browsers one document open while working on another document use an app and the browser or two browsers at the same time firefox edge they all work great and yeah oh yeah google docs is free and it's cool it's cool but Microsoft Office is already supporting dual display ahead of the Surface Duo launch. I'm just saying. And gamers out there, I know you hear me. Don't get lazy. Make your own controller. Sure, some games out there already support hardware controllers, and that stock V60 template's gonna work just fine. But all games with on-screen controls can be mapped to that second screen. You know. Oh, oh, you know. You know. How some games track if you're using on-screen controls or a hardware controller controller plus it's just cool to map out controls so they fit your thumbs perfectly you should totally do that three apps at a time is where it's at dual display doesn't mean we gave up on split screen we still got that too yo and pen for days mm, mm, mm. you gotta customize this apps you want in there or the accessibility shortcuts get a screen magnifier oh and you need to take a note real quick just double tap that volume key and get to scribbling i thought you knew get it done this is the productivity powerhouse of 2020 and now you know no. As always, thanks so much for watching, for sharing these videos, and subscribing to this channel. That sharing part is probably the most important. I'd like to send a special shout out to all of the fine folks over on the LGV60 subreddit for finding a few of these really cool tips and tricks, get a little bit more use out of a powerhouse phone. The V60 does a ton of stuff, and not all of it is super well documented. I hope you enjoyed this super amped presentation, and if there are any tips or tricks that I missed, Drop them in the comments down below. Let's share some more fun uses for a big beast of a phone. Now, you know where you can find me around the rest of the internet, at some gadget guy on the Twitters and the Twitch, and the Facebooks and the Instagrams. And I will catch you all on the next video.